Hello guys, it's me Kwan here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about culture shock. So as you guys know, I'm originally from Thailand. Thailand and Turkey, we have a lot of cultural differences, but firstly, I want to mention that Thailand and Turkey, we have almost the same core values, such as we pay a lot of respect for elderly and we are family-oriented society. And when I came to Turkey, there's a lot of things to be learned and to get used to. So the first culture shock that I face is saying no. So when Turkish people say no, they'll do this gesture like, do you want water? <laughs> At first I didn't know what it means like, but I assume they means no because it seems like a no, but I still, I was still confused. And then later on when uh, a lot of people do this, I just get used to and I just remember it means no, but if you do that in Thailand, it would be quite rude to say no like that. But in Turkey, it's a common thing. So the second one is to call somebody. So I think this one is used with people you're close with, I'm not quite sure, but uh, for example, if I sit here and my friend sat there and I wanted to call my friend to look at me, I can say like, shh, shh, and yeah, she will look at me. I was uh, a little bit confused when they did that, but I know, I kind of know that they call me But if you do that in Thailand, it will be rude And with uh, quite a similar sound, you can call cats in Turkey with that sound Like, um, like, or shh I think, yeah, Turkey, Turkish people do that to call their cats And the cats just instantly know that human calls them <laughs> But in Thailand, if I do that, I don't think the cats will be interested. <laughs> um, in Thailand, we often imitate the cat sounds like meow, and they just instantly come to you. But here, if I did that, the cat doesn't interest it in me. <laughs> so that that's quite different, right? But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm now calling cats in Turkey with this sound. And the third one is texting laughs. So in English, if you want to text someone with laugh, you text ha ha, right? And uh, in Turkey, you text, you kind of uh, text a random alphabet for laugh. And then uh, one day, my friend sent me that text and I thought it was a word, but I didn't know what it means. It, it seems random. And then after that day, my friend told me that it was a laugh. That has, that's how uh, Turkish people text laugh. And actually in Thailand, it's funny too because in Thailand number five uh, we call number five ha it means uh, five so when we text laughed we just uh, press five 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 it means ha 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 like that so yeah <laughs> now I'm used to it and I'm texting like that the fourth one is movie break so I remember one day I went to a theater with uh, my friend from Kazakhstan and from Djibouti we went to watch Jumanji and then in the middle of the movie, everything just stopped. I thought like the electric uh, went off or something, but it wasn't. It was a movie break. And I was quite shocked. I thought like, what happened? Why? <laughs> I was uh, confused. And then uh, advertisement just popped up on the screen. And I was so confused at that point because in Thailand, we didn't have movie break like that. In Thailand, I remember when Avengers Endgame came out and people just watched it straight for like three, three hours or more, I think I remember. And here at Jumanji, I don't know how many hours that, but there's a movie break and people can go to the toilet or can get some snacks and then like 10 to 20 minutes later, I think, the movie continues. I was very confused, but I, I went just only one time, but my friend told me it was a movie break. So yeah, so culture shock number five is kiss on the cheek. So Turkish people, when they want to greet somebody that um, that close with, I think they do this. They kiss on both of the cheek. And in Thailand, when we want to greet someone, we do this. สวัสดีค่ะ 
this is how we greet someone in Thailand and we don't often touch each other so um, when I came here I, I already know that uh, people in this side of the world uh, will probably shake hands or kiss on the cheek I already know that back in Thailand but you know we don't often do that back in Thailand and when I came here <laughs> And my friend want to greet me on, want to kiss on my cheek, I got um, a little bit nervous. <laughs> you know, when people get close to you, you get kind of nervous. It also happens when uh, people want to shake my hands. For girls, it's fine, but for men, when men want to shake my hand, I knew it was a normal thing to shake hands, but you know, <laughs> I was I was nervous because back in Thailand I didn't do that that often. It was not a regular thing to do that, but I already knew that um, is a normal thing here. So yeah, I was just nervous, guys. So another culture shock is that New Year's holiday. So uh, back in Thailand we have a very long New Year holidays. We have um, at least four days or longer than that, it depends. And we usually celebrate it a lot, actually. We, we have holidays almost every month. And yeah, very long holidays too. When I came to Turkey, I planned that I want to go somewhere. But I learned later that New Year's holiday here is only one day. One day. I was very shocked. <laughs> Like what I'm going to do with one day, it's supposed to be longer than that for holidays, for this celebration, right? But um, it was so fun to celebrate New Year here. I, The first year in 2020, I celebrated with my friends, my Turkish friends in our dormitory and we have our secret party and it was amazing. <laughs> And in the beginning of 2020, I celebrated with my Turkish friends, family, and it was so heartwarming. It was such a wonderful time. I really am grateful for that. Still though, I miss um, long holidays. So the last one is Turkish people are so beautiful. <laughs> I'm not saying this randomly, they're just they're just so pretty. Uh, when I first came here, uh, what I did was sitting on the bus and looking at people's faces. I know it's quite creepy, right? But, you know, I haven't seen such a beautiful human being <laughs> like this. And then I just, yeah, they're just pretty. Men are handsome and women are so beautiful. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye! <laughs>